Welcome back to Animal X. They're ambush predators normally found in India and South America. Geared to kill, they're at the apex of the food chain. So what could wild panthers be doing in Essex, Britain? And could they be breeding? Wild big cats have been reported in Britain for many centuries. Until now, the sightings have, however, been sporadic and nearly always in isolated areas, such as Bodmin Moor. What is disturbing is that the sightings are becoming more frequent and the growing big cat population doesn't seem to be frightened of the bright lights of the big city. I looked over the fence and six foot away was you know, a panther. It was quite, I suppose, eerie or spooky to pick up these emerald bright eyes. This animal is evolving, it's developing, and I'm absolutely certain it's certainly breeding out. Animal X travels to the county of Essex. Situated on the outskirts of London and including some of the suburbs, Essex has been a hotbed of activity for these alien big cats. Paul and Linda Buckingham are farmers. They were very skeptical about the existence of a wild panther loose in their area until they encountered it. We noticed some flashlights coming across the field. Turned out that three policemen had been called with regard to eight sightings of a black panther. Later that evening, at about 11 o'clock, we decided to drive our truck round the field. And as we drove down the side of the wood, we saw these big eyes looking at us. So we quickly wound up the windows, carried on driving. And as we went round the corner of the woodland, we noticed the panther running off into the distance. Frank Fitch is another Essex resident who has come face to face with this terrifying beast. The dogs were barking. Uh, barking and pulling at the fence at the back of the property. Um, so I went to investigate to see what was going on and stood up on the garden and looked over the fence and there was a panther not six foot away looking straight back at me. And we kind of stared at each other for a few seconds. It seemed like an hour. It just stared at me and, and the thing that sticks in your mind is the eyes. The eyes really pierce. David Webster is a local artist while out walking, not only did he see the alien big cat, he photographed it. I'm an artist, I came out here, it was uh, an October morning, to take some photographic notes. Well, when I took the picture, it ran directly to the left, a sort of a fast trot, and for about 50 yards, and it paused at the hedgerow. It turned around and looked at me again. It was then I took the picture. I suppose the distance there was about 25 yards. The sightings are far too numerous to be ignored. Not only must it be accepted that the alien big cats are out there, it must also be accepted that there are a great number of them. John Hancock is the head of the Essex Big Cat Research Project, an organization that is supported by the Essex Police Department who refer all sightings straight to John. We're going from like sort of a few sightings a year, to sort of 50 sightings a year, to 100 sightings a year, you know, to 100 sightings in six months. And, you know, what does that tell you? This is like, this is getting out of hand. This country is like a paradise for them. If you, if you, if you release this animal into, into air countryside, it's got no enemies, it's got nothing to fear. Um, it's got no humans that hunt it. And it's kind of top of the food chain, even above us. You know, these are very dangerous animals. They, they have killed people in the past. Really, we're at a stage where it is obviously out there. There's too many signs to sort of dispute it, really. Quinton Rose is a professional dangerous animal trapper. He is sure that alien big cats are out there. And in his opinion, Britain is in for a serious problem. The non-indigenous uh, carnivores which are in Britain at the moment uh, that are, uh, have become established, uh, each of the animals appears to be covering around about 250 square miles and they're constantly on the move. But one of my concerns at the moment is that they are coming closer and closer to people. Time and time and time again I'm getting sightings reported either in well-populated areas or very close. The cats aren't afraid of us. How did this problem arise? Where did these fur-covered hunters come from? and how did they establish themselves in the county of Essex? There's already been a very similar situation uh, with the Koipu in East Anglia. 
this is a large rodent that was released in the 40s and 50s from fur farms in, in the East Anglia area. It took the government uh, two and a half million pounds and over six years just to control the coipu. Now, coipus are stupid animals. They have very small home ranges. They're dead easy to catch. These cats are very different. Lou Foley is known as the Lion Man of Craig Lee. He has kept big cats for decades and he knows how this problem came to be. These ferocious cats, lions and tigers, beyond that, they could be bought in, in big shops like Adams in London. Um, they, they could be bought anywhere. There was no law. But in 1976, the Dangerous Wild Animals Act was passed, which made it impossible to keep big cats as pets. So what options were open to those who owned these powerful animals? Two alternatives. One, to have them put down. Two, to let them loose. The biggest majority of the people who, who, had the, who own these, uh, these cats, they, they, they do turn them loose. I turn them loose, yeah. I know people personally who turn them loose. If these are a new generation of big cats that are now indigenous to the UK, the people of Essex are right to be worried. And if Quinton Rose's predictions come true, this is not the last we'll hear of the Essex Panther. The mysterious tales of the animal world continue to fascinate and perplex us. After all, it's said there are stranger things in heaven and earth than we can think of. You've just seen some of them on Animal X.